Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testpreppinsight.com, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Pimsleur Japanese program. I've used Pimsleur to learn a couple different languages at this point and wanted to try out Japanese, so I'm going to share what I like and don't like about this course. Plus, there's also been some updates that Pimsleur has made to their program, which I want to talk about as well, so let's get into it. And by the way, before we dive straight in, I do just want to say that since I'll just be focusing on the major highlights and lowlights in this video, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review of this course over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Pimsleur Japanese. It's the quickest way to find it. All right, so let's get this going and talk about how the Pimsleur Japanese course works. You know, how it's structured and what the lessons are all about. So from a high level structural point of view, there are five different levels to complete within the Japanese course, all sort of ascending in terms of mastery. In other words, level one is beginner and it goes up from there all the way to level five, which is advanced. And within each of these five levels, there are 30 full length lessons to complete. Now, what does each lesson look like? Well, it's kind of simple actually. Each lesson has the same general components which you methodically work through. When you start each lesson, your first task is to complete a 30 minute guided audio exercise where a moderator speaking in English guides you through an audio lesson based in large part on a simulated Japanese conversation. You'll listen to a little back and forth between two fluent Japanese speakers. Then the moderator will stop to clarify what you're hearing, explain key points, and then ask you questions in order to get you involved and participate. So really, you can think of this portion of the lesson as a guided audio lesson. And I would just note that as you progress through the course, the moderator will start speaking less and less English as you become more fluent in Japanese, forcing you to rely on what you've learned up to that point. Then after the audio portion of the lesson, which again takes about 30 minutes, you review what you just learned through a variety of drills and exercises. It's kind of like class followed by homework. The drills consist of flashcards, quizzes, pronunciation practice, and speed games, just to name a few. And by the way, that's actually one of the updates that Pimsleur has made since I last took a Pimsleur course. They used to never have any voice recognition software for pronunciation feedback, but they have since added that with a new feature called Voice Coach. I'll talk about this a little later on in this video. But anyway, each of these reinforcement drills take around five minutes to complete. So all in all, you're looking at around 60 minutes or so to complete one full Pimsleur lesson. To be clear, that's the audio exercise plus all the reinforcement drills. And that's about it in terms of how Pimsleur Japanese works and what the lessons are like. And I know I covered that pretty quickly, so if you do want to see some more info or take a deeper dive, make sure to check out that full detailed written review that I already mentioned. I'll have that link down below in the description for you. I have way more detail, including screenshots and examples over there, so you can get a better feel for what to expect. Okay, so now that I've broken down how the Pimsleur Japanese program works, let me quickly touch on pricing before diving into my pros and cons. So Pimsleur offers two different plans. The first is Pimsleur Premium, which gives you access to the Japanese course for $20 per month. And the second is Pimsleur All Access, which gives you access to all of Pimsleur's languages. There's about 50 of them for $21 per month. In other words, a buck more. If you compare this cost against other competitors like Rosetta Stone, Duolingo, and Busu, Pimsleur is more expensive by around $5 to $10 per month on average. It's definitely not the cheapest Japanese app on the market, but honestly, it's not that bad either, at least compared to some others like Rocket. And in fact, if you're gonna be learning Japanese along with a family member, your partner, or maybe a friend, you can actually account split with Pimsleur, effectively making the price $10 per month, which is right in line with those competitors and pretty darn reasonable in my opinion. And it's definitely worth mentioning that Pimsleur does offer a seven day free trial period, so you can always try this program out and see if you like it before taking the dive and paying, which is pretty nice. Not all Japanese apps offer that. Some you have to buy without even trying. So I'll go ahead and drop a link to that free trial down below in the description if you want to check that out. I'd personally suggest at least signing up for the free trial period and giving this app a good test run before diving in and buying. All right, so now that we've talked about cost and how it all works, let's get into what I like and what I don't like about Pimsleur Japanese after testing out this program. And let's start with the positive, since I think there's more good news than bad with this course. For me, the first clear highlight of the Pimsleur Japanese course is their audio lessons. Compared to other language apps out there, apart from maybe Rocket Japanese, there isn't any real level of in-depth conversational or verbal practice. Most apps like Duolingo are more game-like, but the Pimsleur course is totally different. It feels more like an actual learning program than a game, and that's largely because of those 30-minute audio lessons that kick off each unit. These lessons are super immersive and really help you to develop an ear for listening to Japanese, as well as speaking. Because they simulate real conversations and teach you actual back and forth, rather than just memorizing vocabulary, they're incredibly useful. 
The impromptu nature of the Pimsleur conversation, layered in with the moderator guidance, is by far my favorite part of the Pimsleur program. And then, my second pro here is that I like how Pimsleur uses an English-speaking moderator in their lessons to keep you engaged and on track. Some other language learning companies, like Rosetta Stone for example, are huge proponents of immersion, meaning very little English is used or spoken throughout the course. They just toss you into the fire and sort of have you sink or swim. And while I think there is some merit to doing things that way, in my opinion, it causes more frustration than it does good. And if I'm being honest, Japanese is a very tough language to learn for English speakers, and the guidance in English, at least early on, really helps. It kind of keeps you from getting bummed out and quitting and provides a support system along the way, so I like that Pimsleur uses a moderator. All right, so pro number three, because the core 30-minute Pimsleur lessons are audio-based, I like that you can treat these lessons almost like a podcast and do them while you're on the go. You can do the lessons while you're washing the dishes, walking the dog, running on the treadmill, whatever. It's just nice that you don't have to be glued to your computer screen or phone at all times like you do with other apps out there. In my experience, when you're learning a new language, sometimes it's best not to sit in one place with a hyper focus on the screen in front of you. It's better to just listen and let your brain absorb what you're hearing. It sort of limits distraction. And the Pimsleur audio lessons definitely allow for that. Their mobile app even comes with a special driving mode so you can learn and complete lessons during your commute or on a road trip, which I really like. And last up here, number four, Pimsleur's new speech recognition software. Essentially, up until just the last few months, Pimsleur never had any speech technology. And it was always a knock I had on the program. Just about every other language learning company out there, Rosetta Stone, Babbel, Duolingo, everyone has some form of voice software. So finally, Pimsleur got with it and added a new feature called Voice Coach, where the system records your voice and provides a text output of what the system heard. And one cool thing is that unlike other apps, it doesn't just give you the phrase to say, it actually prompts you in English and then has you come up with the Japanese phrase yourself, which I really like because it makes you think critically. Now, don't get me wrong, this voice coach system is not perfect and you can tell they're still working out some bugs, but it is a massive improvement over having no speech software at all and I genuinely like it. Okay, so those are my pros. Now let's switch sides to the things that I don't necessarily like about Pimsleur Japanese. But before I get to that, I do just want to mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free language learning course to one lucky person. It's super simple dinner. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know that it takes like 10 seconds to enter and hey, you never know, you could win yourself a totally free subscription to Pimsleur Japanese. All right, back to the negatives. And for the first, while I know I raved about Pimsleur's lesson framework earlier, there is one downside. The lessons are just long. There's no way around it. Between the audio exercise and the reinforcement drills, you're looking at around an hour or so from start to finish to complete a full lesson. Again, I love the lessons. They're some of the most comprehensive Japanese lessons that I've reviewed, but they can also be a little tedious at times. Sometimes around the 20 to 25 minute mark of each audio lesson, my mind would start to hit a wall and wander a little. When this would happen, I'd usually just pause the program for like 10 minutes and take a quick break to get a drink and check my email. But if you're the type of person that has a short attention span, this is something to keep in mind. In that case, shorter form Japanese language lessons like those from Duolingo and Busu might be a better fit because they offer short, quick hit lessons. Okay, so my second negative here is that Pimsleur offers fairly limited Japanese reading and writing lessons. There are some lessons in the latter half of the program once you've established a base, and they say you should be able to understand basic kana and kanji, the dual Japanese writing systems, but I would say just that, it is very basic. Essentially, if learning to read and write in Japanese is just as important to you as listening and speaking, then other programs like Rocket Japanese might be a better fit for you. In fact, I'll go ahead and drop a link to our review of Rocket Japanese down below in the description if you want to check that out. But just know that with Pimsleur, you'll learn enough to get by, but it's very clear that their focus is on verbal Japanese, speaking and listening, not necessarily reading and writing. All right, so my last negative, number three. Because the Pimsleur lessons are so heavy in terms of audio and text, they might not be the best option for visual learners. Beyond the reinforcement drills after the core audio lessons, there really isn't too many visuals or images throughout the program, which might be an issue for some types of learners. This all goes back to the Pimsleur method, which is all about developing your ear for a language, not necessarily reading and writing. So there's very limited imagery and even somewhat limited use of text compared to other apps. So if you're the type of learner that needs pictures for memory aids, then Pimsleur might not be the most ideal option. All right, that about does it for this review. 
All in all, I really like the Pimsleur Japanese course, including the updates that they've made. The audio lessons that form the backbone of the course are highly effective, even if a little long. And the reinforcement drills are fantastic for getting material to stick post-lesson. Also, the new voice coach tool, though still needing some improvement, is an awesome addition for working on your Japanese pronunciation and getting you to think critically. Plus, the program overall has a very clean organization, look, and feel. It's just a well-put-together Japanese program from top to bottom. Again, Pimsleur Japanese isn't perfect, but compared to some of the other Japanese language programs that I've taken and reviewed so far, Pimsleur is a rock-solid option and should work for most people. Anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something about Pimsleur Japanese. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed written review that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. We got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.